I'm right here next to Richard Azonto Kome. He is the former IDF welterweight or lightweight champion. Um, I'll quickly ask him one or two questions. He has to tell us about himself and then um, where he schooled, where he grew up. I mean, who has been very, very instrumental in his career up till today. Um, I'll be speaking to him very, very shortly. And he's seated next to me. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, sister. How are you doing? Actually, as you all know, I'm, uh, I'm from Jamestown. I mean, brown and brave from James, I'm Accra Gamashi, you know, Asamra Jonshi, yeah. You know, I mean, I was born and bred here, so I mean, <laughs> I haven't lived anywhere apart from Jamestown. And, uh, you know, primary school, I didn't go, and then JSS, uh, Junior Secondary School, that's Accra Royal. And then that's it, you know, unfortunately, yeah, I couldn't get a chance to, uh, I mean, further to the secondary school, but I mean, it is what it is. And uh, I mean, how did boxing start for you? Because um, I knew you to be a very good kickboxer. So how come you were able to convert from kickboxing straight to boxing? Well, you know, um, with the kickboxing, you know, I became the right-hand man for my coach. And then obviously, I followed him to the UAE because, you know, you are the right-hand man. So definitely the coach wants you to be by his side. So I followed him to the UAE where I met a couple of friends and I met, uh, I met my friend Amon Molloy from the Ireland and then Lea Otwe. They were the very instrumental. Uh, they were the people that encouraged me to do boxing because they saw me in my training. They saw me sparring with, they saw me sparring with uh, UAE, you know, their first professional. He saw her die and then they were like, Richie, come on, man. We knew you can box. Why don't you boss? Please try and boss and we'll support you. And I listened to them because I feel like... Uh, when people keep saying something is the voice of God, you know, I mean, the voice of people are the voice of God. So I thought that way and I said, okay, well, let me give boxing a try. So I think I went there 2007, spent two years there, lived there for two years and then come back uh, to Ghana 2009 after I decided to come and do boxing. And I started boxing 2010. Who was very instrumental in your boxing career? I mean, somebody who, who took you from nowhere and then made you very, very great. Uh, honestly speaking, I would give that to my manager Michael Amubedia because um, I mean I know a lot of people are saying oh they give me the manager they did they, they, but that was all wrong you know he came to the gym when I was training with Carloco the moment he saw me he was like man I like this guy and that's it so I would say he's very instrumental and and Carloco was a trainer former trainer he's also done his part and you know he, he also did his best with me but you know get to a point where you have to move and just move on to achieve better and sometimes some people have to be out of your life this is the way God, God wants it to be so we parted ways and you know I mean I become a world champion and, um, everyone sh everyone could see that you know you lost your title to Teofimo Lopez I know um, it's it's a sad thing but um, you've moved on life must continue and we know what you can do best what do you want to tell most of the f uh, boxing enthusiasts people who follow you tooth and nail what do you want to tell them should they watch out for another Azonto world title that is coming back very very soon yeah most definitely you know I always fight for my people I always fight you know I just want to put a joy want to put joy in their face want to put a smile on their face they want them to you know because you know since the last time Doug be lost it, it has been like we haven't got anybody representing Ghana in terms of boxing so and I became one at a time so I feel like I'm doing this for Ghana I hold the Ghanaian people a lot because I went in there believing and I trained hard like, with positive mind that I'm gonna win again and pull the smile and pull Ghana as a whole in that radar but unfortunately it didn't go well so I feel like you know a lot of people cried a lot of people you know like feel the pain people got sick so you know I feel I need to wipe all those things away and how do I do that? It's only by winning them a world title or by winning, 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 then winning another world, another world title. And I believe by doing so, I would have cleaned or I might have cleaned it or wiped out the tears that they had when I lost. So it's something that I'm praying to God and God knows and it's something that I can make it because I've been there before when I lost with Robert Easter back to back and then bounce back and become a world champion. I've lost it and I have the faith in me. I still go uh, many years ahead of me. I got a, a great team, great training trainers behind me. So I feel like, yeah, I can still, I can still bounce back and become a two-time world champion. That's what I've got in my head. You know, I just want to pay Ghanaians and everyone that follow me, everyone that support me. You know, I just want to win them another world title. Should we expect the world title very, very soon? Or, or I mean, um, you just be doing one or two fights before the world title comes? 
Yeah, at the moment, you know, what I have in my mind is just a combat fight, and then, and then we'll see what follows after. But definitely, where I am, the level that I've got to, uh, I mean, the water certified can come anytime soon. So once I get back, everything will be open, and gradually I'll move up to the uh, to the uh, rankings, and then we'll see what happens. But definitely, it's, it's not gonna take much time. But sooner or later, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a world champion again. I mean, before you take leave of us, um, what will be your assurance to all Ghanaians that look, they should watch out? Although you are down, that doesn't mean that you stay there. Yeah, most definitely. You know, as you all believe, as the Bible says, you fall down seven times, you rise up seven times. How many times have I fallen? This is the second time. So definitely, I'm gonna rise up three times or four times. Cause yeah, I mean. This is not the end of Richie Komi. I mean, Richie Komi believes in God and believes everyone and always stay humble. And I actually got Ghanaians. I actually always want me to come back and win another water for this country. Keep your prayers for me. And I can assure you, I will never sleep in my training. I will always work hard. And when the opportunity comes, definitely I'll be a two-time world champion for Ghana and for you guys all. Thank you very much. God bless you.